Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to another episode of Barbershop Talk Radio. I'm your host, Young Slim. And I'm Kim. And today is 9120, September the 1st, 2020. Tuesday, I might add. And we're going to talk about a couple things, but we're going to talk some football. Some football. Um. Well, it's a professional football game in South Jersey after a fight erupts among the players. And we've learned that game should not even have been played. Alicia Reed is in Pensacola with more on this story. Hi, Alicia. Just the prosecutor's office continues to investigate and interview witnesses as they try to figure out who the shooter is. Meanwhile, the mayor says there needs to be accountability for whoever thought it was okay to hold a football game against the state mandate. Those who make this extreme error in judgment will take responsibility for both their actions and inaction. Mayor Tim Killian says Pensacola has a responsibility to ensure safe spaces for children to enjoy youth sports. This weekend, the PYAA hosted a semi-pro football game at Crescent Field that ended with someone from the visiting team shot twice. As soon as the gunshots rang out, I saw a lot of arguing, down, arguing and um, people heading to their cars and like fleeing the scene. The mayor says between 150 to 300 people showed up Saturday to watch the DMV Legends of Washington, D.C. take on the Tri-County Owls of Pensacola, violating the governor's social distancing mandate and leaving the field a mess. The complex has been temporarily closed for community use. And for the immediate future, the Tri-County Owls football organization is banned from using township facilities. Although the Pensacola Youth Athletic Association hosted the event, the mayor says the township had no notice, yet its resources had to be used to clean the field and ground. This behavior at one of our sports fields, or any township facility for that matter, is totally irresponsible and completely unacceptable. It was taken with a complete disregard for the municipal property and the safety of the surrounding Pensacola community. Mayor Killian says the township committee will be meeting with the PYAA to figure out exactly what happened here and also to enforce accountability. Reporting live from... Okay, so wow. that was an incident. What well, seems like they're more worried about their fields being used unauthorized than they were about whoever shot. That's what the mayor's message was to me. Uh, that's what I took from it. Yeah. You know, he seemed to be more upset about the field being used. The field. And the they field. had to use their resources to clean it up. I mean, come on. We're, we're already pooping on the field or well, something. They probably left trash everywhere and stuff. I mean, you know? oh, come on. But come on. We, were wanted, we wanted to talk about the shooting that took place at this field at a semi pro football game in Pennsylvania. Yeah, now, it was the, uh, uh, the Tri County Owls and um, the Bulldogs, some or somebody the, from the DMV All Stars or the DMV Legends, something like that from Washington D.C. who were playing there. Where we have a guest coming on who was hopefully, actually hopefully, hopefully who actually attended up. the game and um, he was actually playing in the game. So we're we're waiting for him to call in so we can get his like first hand account of what happened. I mean, what could actually um, <clears throat> what's that fight a fight? Erupted into a shooting. One person was injured. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want no nobody's name or nothing like that. I just want to know exactly what happened and yeah, like you know. What, I, I what, don't know. I don't even know. They don't even know who it was. I, it it don't matter who it was at this point. Back. It's just about like what could possibly, what could possibly. How how can it get that serious at a football game? At, at a game, you know. I what, don't know. What could what could possibly escalate? What could possibly happen at a football game? To lead to somebody actually wanting to shoot at somebody, you know, know. That, that's all. That's all we're basically um, trying to cover here. Um, and plus, it's you know, it's football. It's football season. It's, it's football local. weather. It's local, and you know, this just messes up things for you know people trying to find fuels to even play when you got people doing stupid things like that. You know, like come on. What do you, nothing can be that serious. First, nothing. First of all, we bring a gun to a football game. Who us. does that? Who does that? Yeah. Who does that? Let's let's add him. Let's add him. Yeah, what's up, bro? 
Yo, what's going on? Ah, same old, same old. What's up? How you been? Damn, you guys going to drive by me the other day? Couldn't even stop and say what's up, huh? Yeah, that's Yo. funny. Jeff said, is that Johnny right there jogging down the street? I'm like, no, he doesn't live around here. I think he lives in Pennsylvania or something like that. <laughs> and then he texted me. He sent me a message like, on Facebook shortly after that. Like, did you guys just drive by me? I'm like, oh, shit, it was Johnny. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I look just like yeah. you. Bro, I wasn't sure if it was you because you got a little chunky, bro. I'm like, oh, that might have just been the shirt you was oh, wearing. Oh, God, oh, here he here he goes. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, I, I actually, uh, I, I've been, I've been running a lot. I actually live in that neighborhood right there on the left, but uh, I had on like three t-shirts and a sweat belt and like a sauna suit, so I'm just, just trying to stay in shape, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is. I, I thought that was you. I'm like, that look like John. Is that Johnny? I'm like, no, nah, that's not him. <laughs> no. But yeah, that was me. That's my daily I run, man. So you still so are you still playing um on this team? The triple team? Who who's that? Which one? The, the semi pro um I guess the Pensalk and uh the, the Tri County team. Owls. The Tri County Owls. Oh, the Tri County oh, Owls. Uh, so, the, yeah, so the Tri County Owls, yeah. Yeah, we're we're still a team. Um we're actually on hold because of everything going on, man. That that whole weekend was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so what happened? Like, what exactly happened? I mean, I don't want no names, no names or nothing. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah. No, nah, it, was, it was just a – it was a great game. Um, I, I, to be honest with you guys, I, I think the biggest problem is is these player lounge things for, for the semi-pros. Like, people people just talk shit all week. Um, I'll be the first. I'm, I'm one of the biggest shit, shit talkers there is. Um, but people just, you know, it was a team from Baltimore. They were, uh, they're, they're a great team. Don't get me wrong. Um, they've been around for a while and obviously we're the new, new team that was in this league. Um, but now they were, they were just talking shit all week. And then, you know, we, our team was saying stuff back and then, um, it was like the start of the third quarter. And I think one of our, uh, cornerbacks ended up getting blocked or shoved down after the whistle. Well, you know, I guess he got up, from what I remember, I guess he got up and, you know, shoved the guy back. And, of course, it was on their sideline. So then that's when, like, everything just happened, you know, and everything happened so quick. So then that's when, like, the, the bench is cleared. Um, the rest ended up calling the game. It was, like I said, it was a great game. It was 6 nothing then. Um, there was still a whole half of football to be played. And the rest called the game, walked off. And then, uh, you know, the coaches and other players, you know, broke the teams up, and then, uh, I don't know, man, it was just, and then another brawl just happened at the gate, and just, after that, it was just like a blur, I just remember grabbing one of the players' sons, and his wife, and she pretty much shielding them, so they didn't get hit with punches or whatever, and then, that's when the shots rung out, and everybody just ran, and then, like, 50 cops showed up. That's shit. Wow. Oh, man. So, basically, all right, so, how I'm taking it. So the, the, the field, competition kind So of. all right. So a skirmish broke out on the field. Okay. But he said the, it started the, like on, oh, online before that. Hold on. All right. All right I got you. We'll get back to that. So a skirmish, a skirmish um, broke out on the field. The refs called the game, and then the, 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 um, it started to es- it kept it kept escalating after the game was called, and then that's then that's when it happened. Yeah. But the, the the thing is, man, like the, the fight at the gate wasn't even like the players. It was like fans from from like fans. I guess our side or I, dude. I don't even know where the fans came from to be honest with you. I don't know where they're from, who they were, and bro, they just like it was crazy, man. Like I I never seen anything like it. Let's let's just put it that way. You know what I mean? Like they were throwing chairs, tables, like it was crazy. Oh wow, the mouse in the palace. Wow. Shit, bro! Every, everything, man. Like, I don't know, what I mean, like, I'm, I'm all for the shit talking, and but like, that's a, I can, I can sit there and like, you know what I mean, I, that's a part of the game. I can, I can shoot the, yeah, but I can sit there after the game with you guys in the parking lot, and shoot, you know what I mean, and and like talk and like whatever, you know what I mean. But see, yeah, that, like I said, man, that Saturday night was crazy. Wow! Wow! Now on this team, do you what, what position do you play on this team? Receiver. 
I play uh, slot receiver, yeah. Okay. Okay, you a starter? When we when we run uh, like quads, yeah, I am, but it ain't. I mean, it's nothing. Doesn't bother me. I mean, I get my playing time. I get in and out, okay. man. I'm I'm happy with a couple plays, and that's it. I just okay. it, I like being out there around all the guys and stuff. And, you know what I mean? It's it's like my uh, to get away from I guess life or whatever. Yeah, I mean, you love football. Yeah. I don't think I know anybody that loves football more than you and Maurice. Both of you guys. You guys both sure. play on like multiple teams. Um, but ain't nothing wrong with that. It's, I didn't even know. I never even heard of the Pensacola. Not, oh, not Pensacola. I'm the tri the tri county um, Owls. Never even heard Bronco of that. Owls, I thought, yeah. All I heard about was the Broncos in Belmar. Yeah, well, they're actually uh, the Broncos actually play in. Um, and talking now, that's who uh, Reese was playing with. They actually played around. I think I want to say around the corner from us, really. Um, but yeah, Tri County the Owls been around for a while, man. They were they were called a different team before becoming the Owls. I think they were called like the Bengals or something. But yeah, man. Okay. I, I, I feel bad for the little kids, man, because that, that's why I put that um, sign that petition to go out. You know I mean, because the town's talking about taking the field away and shit. I and, saw yeah, that, I, like, thank, I thank you for that. I, I really do appreciate that. I'm just, we're just trying oh. to, you know what I mean, get the get the field back for the kids and everything. It's a great facility, man. Turf field, lights. It just sucks that it happens. We can't let they lock the field, and they're, they're not letting anybody play on it. They lock the gates and all kinds of stuff. It's That's not fair. We, we can't let one, one, one incident. But the kids have nothing to do with it. It has nothing to do with the kids, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, now they – they weren't even there, you know, and, and uh, we, we let the they, – they open the concession stands and whatever money they make, you know, they get to – that's like us donating money to them for, you know, the, the field and, and uh, anything to help out with Mitchell football with new helmets and stuff. Right. Now, 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 let me ask you this. Now, the way the news is trying to portray it, that you guys were supposed to be on that field, but you said they opened the concession stand? Yeah, the concession stands were uh, – we're open for like so the players to get Gatorade and, and whatever else. So, so I, I, I don't I don't I don't know above above any of that. Like what the news is trying to say. Um, I mean you know how you know how the news in the media is. You know what I mean. And, and even that guy, it's like everybody wants their hand in the pot for some kind of money. If he ain't making money, you know what I mean. Like, I, I don't know what happens above that. You know. Yeah. Like I know I know there was a permit for the field, but I don't know. You know what I mean. I don't know what happens with any of that stuff. Yeah, you just mayor, the mayor act like you guys the mayor act like you guys were squatters and weren't even supposed to be on the field. And it cost him money to clean it well, up. And, and it cost so, you so cost a me, bunch of money to clean it, it up. Like you guys were shitting on the field or lit the field on fire. Let me say this. The Owls the Owls been playing there since two thousand and sixteen. I mean, we've had people from the township come to watch us play. We've had police officers come. I mean, I, I don't know how they you know, say what they what they said in that video. That guy said in the video. Oh well, they weren't even supposed to be there. Well, yeah. dude, we play there every Saturday. You know what I mean? Like, it's nothing new. Yeah. 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 They're just yeah, trying to cover. Trying, they're just trying to cover. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. They yeah, weren't so. responsible for the shooting. Yeah. We were not yeah. responsible for it. Yeah. They weren't supposed to be there, and they're just they were just looking. Uh, you know, just trying to cover the tracks for backlash. Yeah. Like, so what are these guys doing yeah. on the field anyway during this pandemic? So, but let me. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, the pandemic. I, look, I look at it like this. You know, Go- Governor Murphy um, approved the contact sports, and I think he like lifted it to 500 people. He said the, yeah. the mayor said that there was like what 130 people there or 300 yeah. people. Like that's that's not even close. It was more or less. No, no, way, way less. There, there was a there was a game before ours. Most of those players packed up and left. Other guys uh, helped out at the gate and uh, did, like, the chain crew. But most of those players had already left, and then you had us. You had us coming in. Yes, there so was I, multiple I, I'd say there was, there was probably no more than 100 people there, I would say. Maybe a little over. But even still, you're still under the governor's limit. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Right, and you had multiple games that day. Like You were, you were the guy, only people out there playing that day, so... They knew you were out there. I mean, knuckleheads do stupid things. But um, I was going to ask you, due to the, you know, 
pandemic, has anybody that since you got this is I'm asking this about the, so I can see an outcome for the NFL. Has since you guys how long have you been playing on the, um the uh, what are they semi pro the house the house since you've been playing on the house right how long have you been playing on the house this season? Um, that was our second game, and we've been practicing since. Uh, well, we were supposed to play in the spring season. Obviously, that that got canceled. Well, we've been practicing since like January. Um, everybody's in masks. You know, everybody, you know, respects everybody's face. Sure. I mean, I, I wore I wore I wore a mask during the game, like like a not like a N95 mask, but like a face covering, and you know, I, I made sure like all my shit, shit was up the bar, and most players yeah. did. You know what I mean? Because you don't you don't know where these people. Or coming from, or who they've been sure. around. So yep. Everything, everything is good, man. We get you get tested at the gate. You get your temperature taken. Like, I mean, I don't know what more we could have done, really. Oh yeah. Okay. They're now, testing at the gates and all. Yeah. My so. question was going to be: Has anybody that you know of come up since you guys been practicing and playing? Anybody on your team has anybody got infected? No. Okay. Nope. Every okay. practice, every you know practice, what? I didn't think so. Breaking, everything, dude. Like we we were legit with that stuff, you know. Making sure, because even coach said you don't want to take the risk. If you're sick, stay home. Um, right. You got your temperature taken at every practice. You know what I mean? Like it, it was legit. He he did it the right way. Okay. So. Thank good. You know what? You know what? Let's applaud. I. You know what? You guys basically prove that you can have. Contact sports safely, safely okay. without affecting and spreading a virus. That's the bottom. Well, yeah. Go ahead. What were you gonna say? I mean, I, I really, I really think like rough cuts should come back around. I mean, I don't, I don't know what the issues are. I don't know if it's about fields. I've talked to a couple people to try to look for fields, um, which I have spoken to some that have found fields, but I don't know. Like, I don't want to be annoying to Bill or, like, Steve or whatever, so I don't know what the, the whole process well, is. But, Bill's I, mean, I, I, think, I, think, I, I think we can do it. Bill's ready to go. He just needs a field. Zephyr High School is not opening and uh, next week. They're doing online. So, basically, they're ignoring him. He tried to go to Fasola Park. Fasola Park said that they're renovating, so he's looking for a field. He tried to talk to the guy from the Camden Elite Flag Football League to use his field, but I don't know. Uh, it was just I don't know if he's yeah. going to do it or whatever. So he, it's not. Uh, Cannon's not big enough. Right. He said the fields aren't big enough. Yeah. He would. You'd only be able to get maybe two games in, and they'd be tight side side by side. So he's looking for a field. So like we tried, we went and looked at William Self Field for our, like we're we're trying to help him out looking for a field. Yeah, that's what we were doing out there. Like we were looking for fields. What? Um, uh, yeah, when we passed what about, you, we were what about, from the fields. What about Gloucester Township? I know Tom ran his league out there it's the turf fields at that park i think it's g i think it's called gt park or something what about yeah the, the gt park yeah the one right up the street with the turf oh up the street from us yeah oh, you know what we could check that out yeah but the, i mean i mean i don't know yeah, yeah, GT park is definitely big enough. and see what they charge i mean i don't know what they charge there or if you need permits there or how they work that but that's where uh, went- tom ran his league out of we went to the, uh, you know, Duffy Field in Williamstown. Yeah, it's right up the street from him. Yeah. yeah, well, that's where yeah. we went the other day. We went there, like, to take video to show him it's a nice place. He got, we gave him the number. He said he was supposed to call. He was supposed to reach out to him today and see if they can, whatever the prices would be. Or this, that's that's where we're trying to move it to, is the Duffy Field. Um, oh, okay. GT Park. GT Park is a good, another good idea. Yeah, and they're playing out there. I know, they have um, Grant and they got and Tyree, they got, um, Tyree's football league is playing out there in GT Park. So, and it's not like they're not having contact sports at that park. They're allowing other teams, other leagues are playing there right now. Now let me ask you, since we're talking about the rough touch, now if Bill said, "Yo, I got a few," are you ready? Is your is your are you and your guys ready? Yeah, I mean we're we're just waiting on the phone call. We've been in contact with State. Uh, we've been in contact with everybody. They're just, you know, I, I, just probably like most teams, they're just waiting on the call and ready to go. Okay. Oh, see, I was gonna say, uh, if you were having your team back, yeah. No. 
Nah, you <laughs> that team. So who's coming back for quarterback? So you're is, 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 is Scott coming back for you? Uh, as far as I know, man, um, Scott's done ever since he got hurt. I don't think he can really throw a football. Um, that last uh, injury, you know, kind of took a toll on him. And, um, as far as as far as I know, it's probably going to be Grosso. Uh, but I know when we when we played our last game, he said he felt like he threw his shoulder out. So I don't know how he's been doing with his. So if anything, it might have to come down to Dogelman playing quarterback. I guess okay. it all depends on how uh, Grosso feels. Okay, so you are going to have your own team. You're not joining GCRs or nothing. That was just that. It. Oh, no, 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 no. I was uh, – so that's still, that's still State's team. This is what I was telling you guys before. That's still State's team plays in that uh, Wednesday night league in two. So all we did was took those same exact players and just came over here. Because some of us from all of my team, uh, Troy, played on Phil State in Philly. So we were like, well, screw it, since I don't have a quarterback, and there's only a couple of us anyway because other players were going elsewhere. That's why we joined Phil State Wednesday night, and then we decided to say, hey, we'll just come over to this week. Okay. Yeah, because Bill's trying. I mean, he's trying. It all comes down to he can get the permit, but he needs a field. Like, he can he can get the insurance, but he needs a field. So yeah. he's looking for a field outside of Deffert. So hopefully yeah. – I would hopefully I would be in – um, what about like Mail Ave or uh, even though I don't know if you guys were around for this place in Clayton. I know it's a football field now, the Clayton Midget Field. Yeah, yeah. I, yo, I was thinking about the soccer field right across the street from that football field. You know, right before the uh, right before the um, the cemetery on the on the right hand side. I know side. you're talking. Yeah, you know exactly right there. You're talking. Yep. Right there, bro. I, I was gonna go check that out tomorrow. I just told you that you have and everything. Yes. I got bad that would be perfect. You know what I mean? It's just about, you know, whether they're going to let a township politics and shit like that. Yeah. Yep. Some townships some are like, no, the fields are closed due to the coronavirus. And some townships are like, go ahead, you can play. So it depends on what the township rules are. At the I, I, I know Clayton's actually having – like kids play sports. Actually, it's always the GT Park, so we can check that out. And GT Park. They're, 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 out, there, they're out there every day. Um, they're out there every day kicking to- the soccer balls around. They're always out there practicing. But there's also right. another field in Glassboro. It's a pretty big field. Um, it's called Owens Field. That's over oh, near. Hey, yeah. um, I know Owens Field. I, think, I actually think Bill used to play there. Uh, b- Back in the what day. What about Bill Park? Park? What, what about Beth and Mill Park? I don't. I haven't been there in a while, but mm-hmm. I know Owens Field. I don't, I don't know. I've been there in a while, so I couldn't. I, I don't remember. Yeah, Beth and I should go more like baseball, baseball fields and like trails in the woods and stuff. Yeah, but they definitely got fields though. I know but they I have baseball it's... fields. I don't know how they are with like grass fields for football, and I think yeah, all the baseball fields, fields are the wild. From what I remember. Um. How about um? Let's see. Um, Bill's pushing for uh, like the third week in September. He is trying to get it together. I mean, it might, at this point, it might be a little bit too late for that now. Yeah, but we actually, he is, if he gets a field like soon, he can still push for the third week in September. So he is trying to get month. the league started by the end of the month. That was his I hope goal. So, man. That's his goal. Now, so what are you guys going to do? I mean, because I know you're, I know you guys playing that Sunday league. So are you guys gonna be able to do both? Yeah, dude, that's just a free. That's a, just keep your legs. They're not even loose. like it's only a couple like Maurice and um, Chris and a couple of the players are are and not even not half. There's only like two or three players. It's like in half the team is playing in that league, yeah. like because it's like oh, okay. it's not enough. It's it's flag. It's only four teams in that league. I mean, it's, it's free. Yeah. It's flag. They live right there. So. It's not. Yep. I mean, it's not. So, what it, it's funny because uh, I was talking to Chris earlier, and I was uh, he had said that Sean wasn't there. I was like, well, Sean don't come, come play quarterback. I said, let me come play quarterback. I said, that's my actual original position. And uh, he was like, he's like, all right, I'm going to ask the team now. I was like, yeah. I was like, I don't think Jeff's going to have it, man. I think he has something against me. <laughs> no. No. no, you know how it is. It's I'm not going to you, bro. You know what his issue is with you? Nah, See, you no. guys are like one of the teams. You guys are equal to the Braves. So it feels like. No, they beat us. They're they, better. Yeah, they, they, beat, they beat you. 
but you got, your team is always the one that it comes down to in the championship or the final. Like it's always that fight against your team. I mean that. I mean that 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 flag league is whatever. But yeah, Sean, Sean's going back to North Carolina for um, a couple of days, a couple for weeks. a little bit. So. Oh shit! That, is he that, moving there, or he's just going like vacation, no, 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 or no, no, family no, there? Back. He's just going to see some family for a little bit. So. Oh, okay. I think- so that that's what that that's why he didn't play. He could have played this week, but um, politics. But 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 he uh, he was like, well, I'm not gonna be able to make it next week, so you might as well have somebody else play quarterback this week. You know, what I mean, just to get yeah. It's only four teams. I mean, how many games can they possibly have? You said four teams. There's only four teams, dude. Wow. So how many four. games you play today? Just one or two? I don't know. I, I, I'm not, I have nothing to do with it. It's That's just one a day. Yeah. Ask Reese or something. Ask Reese about that league. I don't know anything about it. Oh, I, I thought you. I thought you guys were out there, like you. No, 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 no. It's nah. just Reese and Chris, and, and yeah, just, yeah, just Reese and Chris. Yeah, just Reese and Chris, and That's their friends. That's it from the phrase. Oh, yeah. yeah. So they kind of like made their own uh-huh. team. It's not. It's just like it's just it's four teams. And it's free. Wow. You, you don't win. The, I'm not saying you don't win any money. I don't know about that. They, they, I think they do, but I mean, how much money can you win in a free league? How much is somebody going to give the you? The refs yeah. are players from the teams. Like, yeah, yeah, the refs are players from other teams. Like, I, 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 I wouldn't would like that. It's usually pickup games. So I, I think you guys would enjoy that that league we play in on Ninth Street. Uh, yeah, you told me that before. Two. I think you guys would you guys would bring some competition over there. I mean, the, the teams are pretty legit. Um, e- Egan and them actually won the championship again. Uh, they're back-to-back champs. We beat them in the season, but we ended up losing in the semifinals to another team. But yeah, they have, they have good competition, and it's and it's under the lights. When's that start, or did it already start? It, it didn't start yet. I'm I'm actually gonna reach out to um, the owner of our team and and just see just to get a date. So I'll, I'll definitely let you guys know. Yeah, definitely let me know. Definitely let me know. And um, you said that's what, what street is that? Was that in Philly? That's in Philly, right? That's uh, that's yeah, it's on Ninth Street, right next to um Angelo's Pizza. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, it takes yeah, like I'd say a half hour, half hour, forty minutes to get there from where I live. So. Is, is that going to start? Is that going to start soon? Uh, I I don't have an answer for you. I, I'll uh, I'll reach out to them when we get off, and uh, see what's up, and I can um text one of you guys or call in or whatever and let you know. Okay. All right. Yeah, definitely. Because right. I, I even asked, um, before all this broke out, I even asked Bill, I said, you know, how would you feel about doing a night game, a couple night games a week just to get, you know, keep people moving during the week? And I think he said he tried that before, but it didn't work out or something, or he couldn't find a field with lights or something. Well, it's, so that's what I was saying, because if he goes to the Delphi field, they had the lights right on the field right yeah, there. So it was that's, there. I think it had something to do with Deptford High School not letting him, and he would have to find a new location to play night games. I, I don't think they even had lights out there. Not, 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 not on those fields that we played on. Not, a, no not at the high school, no. No, the, the lights were on the actual football field. We we were basically using the the, uh, the soccer and the yeah and the um yeah the lights are on the practice football field, football yeah. field. Yeah, across the street so I mean and the softball field I mean there was so much land out there that was that was that was pretty good that's how, right. that's how Owens Field is Owens Field is just a straight piece of land that has a couple baseball fields but that's where all yeah. the last row midget football practices are and there's just plenty of room. Yes. All right, we're going to have to check out the Owens Field. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Play I already Field. know where Owens Field is. I mean, I've been there plenty of times. Yeah, we'll go like. So Owens Field, is, oh, that's a good idea. Owens Field will be a good spot. We'll go get, like, pictures and stuff for Bill. But, I mean, it depends, on, it depends on, like I said, the township and their politics and, and their. Who's with their, with their, play with their for charges. the coronavirus now? Yeah. You know, I don't know what, I don't know what's up Defford butts. Like. Well, I get it. The high school's not opening, so I don't think. They're, that's why they're not answering, like, because I guess they're not even answering, Bill. So the high school's not opening, the middle school's not opening, so they don't want to. So, that want to so kids in Defford don't have to go back to school. They're doing it online. Most of the schools around here are online. That I mean, some schools are going two days a week. Some are, not many though. Johnny, do you have any kids? I, it's, you uh, have I'm, 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 my, my wife's due um, actually this month, September 25th, her due date. So it's my it's my first. 
Let's applaud him. Let's applaud him. Congratulations, Rob. having a boy, right? Yeah, baby boy. Yeah, see? Okay. Well, I was going to say, um, like, well, you wouldn't even know. Maybe you even still do know, even though you you don't have a kid going to school at this moment. Your township is, 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 is your township going to school? Are they going to school? Um, as far as I know, um, I don't, I don't think, um, so I live in Franklinville. Uh, it's like, I'm in like in the middle of Franklinville. Waynestown and Clayton, I don't think any of them are. So my wife's actually a teacher yep. at a charter school in Camden, and they're doing everything online for, I think, yep. until October. October. Yep. I know Williamstown is definitely so. online. Williamstown, for the first marketing period, is definitely online. So I'm sure Williamstown is I, and Franklin I, I will say the schools are getting are, are real strict, like on their school grounds. So I was in, um, I was at Washington Township High School just running some routes with a couple of the high school kids that I know just just to get out run around do some training and uh, the cops actually kicked us out of the high school and said that we're not allowed to be there so we actually went over to um, Washington Lake Park and then those okay. same exact cops came over and said oh we got complaints you guys are too close to each other you're not allowed to do this here and I said what? Yeah. That doesn't even make any sense and we ended up getting kicked out of there too Oh, wow. oh, wow, that's definitely Charlie Murphy laugh, yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yo, so the, the cops actually came up to you and said, we got complaints that you guys are too close. Too too close to each other, and I, I, I don't even know, man. It's just, it's just, it's just crazy. You, you literally can't do anything without somebody bitching at you. Yeah. That's... That's that's nuts. Yeah, so that's what it's gonna come down to this township and whether they're gonna let him play on any shows. That's a, that's exactly what it's gonna come down to. But you definitely touched on something earlier. You said Governor Murphy said that um contact sports contact sports and um they opened it up for it. He, yeah, he well that was just that was just recently. This when we were running the routes and stuff, this was back in like I wanna say April or May, so everybody yeah. was still kinda of, like when they first opened parks. When they first opened yeah. parks up. Uh-huh. That's, that's when we went in there, and that's when we ended up getting kicked out. They said that the cops said that they got complaints about something. So I, I don't know. I I don't argue with anybody. I just pack my stuff and go. It is what it is. Yeah. It's it a battle that we're never gonna win. You know? yeah. True. True. So. True. Yeah. Uh, let's switch it. Uh, you got a, you got a few more minutes, yo. I want, I want to touch on something. Yeah, in, I got uh, Um, Alvin Kamara is. What's wrong? Oh, that's wrong chair. Alvin Kamara is um, what is he? Was he holding out or he hasn't gone to practice? He, he just stopped going to practice. He wants more money. Out of the blue, right? If you were the Saints, do you pay this man or do you trade him? Or do you trade him? Uh, so I actually I, I ended up seeing a report or something. I haven't looked too much into it. You guys said that he was holding out because he wanted more money. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what you want to but, pay him? I mean, because the states are saying they're open to trading him. What didn't something happen to Mark Ingram too? Or is he, is he still on there? Or did he end up? Yeah, nah, he's Mark, in Ingram, Ravens, right? Mark Ingram was in Baltimore. Mark Ingram was in Baltimore. Yeah. Who also drafted another running back? Yeah, I mean, I, I would pay him. Okay. Okay. Uh, when you wouldn't? I, I don't know because running backs. I mean, did he? He almost looked like a shell of himself last year. Yeah. From his first year, and then he just looked. I don't know. He maybe just, maybe that's looked, why they're open to trading on it. He looked a little. He looked a little different. I believe this is his third year, and I feel like yeah. he looked a little different. Because he said he's starting his fourth contract, because and they don't want his fourth year. His fourth year, but he's showing his rookie contract. Yeah, this is last year of his rookie contract, and they don't want to extend it for a fifth year. They, they don't? don't want to extend his contract for a fifth year. Where did you see that at? I read it last night on the show. So they, so, so they don't want to extend him? No. Wow. So they must think he's broken down. Yeah. Because be honest with you, bro, when Latavius Murray was in there last year, he definitely. They definitely didn't lose anything when 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 Lucas yeah. Murray was running the ball 
uh, when Kamara was actually hurt. So, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, running backs are kind of a dime a dozen. I don't know. I, I want to know what's up with Wentz, man. Every every report I see, it's like this dude's always hurt. Always I hurt. Always hurt. Always hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Now, are you a Wentz fan? No. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's tough. I mean, he, he got, I, I think he's good, but I, he just can't stay on the field. He's, he's just he's always injured. Jeff thinks he sucks. Jeff, Jeff thinks that this is his last year and Jalen Hurts is going to take his starting job. Hurts to Hurts. What you're gonna yeah. do? Yeah. I, I I think so, man. I think Carson Wentz has proven that he can't stay healthy. That's one. And for two, I feel like he's um he hasn't gotten any better. He hasn't gotten any better. I feel like he holds the ball way too long. His pocket awareness is very very shaky, and I think it is. He got himself knocked out of that game. I, I know it was a dirty hit by um. Clowny, but at the same time, he was holding the ball with no pocket awareness whatsoever. Like, yeah. I just think I think I think it's time to move on. I think I think Tampa Bay is going to be scary this year, man. They got that they, they remind me of the Raiders. Raiders. The, old, the, uh, yeah. the rich kid. They remind me of the rich kid and Raiders. They basically a bunch of old Patriots. superstars. And they took the Patriots to the Bucks, basically. It starts from the Patriots to the Bucks. Yeah. It's just, it's just dropping, yeah, it's just dropping. Huh? And McCoy. McCoy's old. McCoy got scratched. McCoy was a healthy scratch in the Super Bowl. He couldn't even get on the field. Yeah, but you have Brady, know. you have Gronk. Now you have Evans. I mean, that's yeah, Mike crazy. Evans. Yeah. Now think about not, that. Now, you're not, you're not going to be able to double Gronk, so you're either going to have to double one, one or the other. But do you have to do you have to double Gronk who's lost a step? I mean, I don't think so. You think I don't he lost think so. Step? I think he lost some. I think he lost some weight. I think he probably got his speed back up. Now he's more like, you know what I mean, cut up. I would hope. So. I would hope so. Yeah, he he's definitely lost a step. He's definitely lost a step. Um, he's still a big body. He still has great hands, but he's not that dominating. Uh, Gronk from like five years ago. He's not. I don't yeah, think I, he I is. think he'll still get open though. I mean, I mean, look at Jason Witten. Whit- Jason Witten got open pretty good last year. That dude's yeah. sixty years old. Yeah, yeah. But this guy's never. This guy's never. Um, honestly, I would say Mike Evans. I'm not gonna say he's a bust, but Mike Evans never really panned out. I mean, good well, one. Yeah, game is winning. Yeah, 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 through ten interceptions a game. <laughs> he's just never. He's never. He's never elevated to that Julio Jones, um, Antonio Brown um, level. He he hasn't. And you, I mean, people could say um, you can blame it on the quarterback if you want, but at some point you got to start pointing um, pointing the finger at the receiver. Like he hasn't. He hasn't gotten I mean, any better. Is is Julio Jones' number even that that good? I mean, he didn't. How many touchdowns did he have last season? Two. No, no, no. no. I'm, not, I'm not talking about Julio Jones right now. I'm talking about Julio in his prime. Uh, um, uh, that's okay. what Mike Evans was compared to—a big body receiver that was, you know, putting up 15 touchdowns a season. That was never Mike Evans. Yeah. Never. So well, we'll see. Uh, We'll, de- we'll determine that this year after they play. Well, if they play, I I don't even know if they're gonna play. But dude, we'll, we'll see. millions of dollars. They they might lose. They might lose the 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 fan gate money. The the money at the gate. The concession. And having the, the concession. And having fans for parking and all that. They might lose all that money, but they will not lose the TV money. They won't. If they they'll play, they'll play with. It. Anybody at this point, they have to play. They have to play. It's yeah. too much money. Too much money. I don't see them ever. Like I don't care. I don't care if Tom Brady gets the coronavirus and Gronk gets the coronavirus. They're, they're just going to play with the backups. They 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 have to play. Well, that's like too the much Patriots. Money. All their, the Patriots players, they all said they weren't Opting playing out. this year. What was that like? Eight yeah. Players. 
six or eight players. The most – now, you know what that I, says? I haven't watched much TV or sports this this year just because of work and everything, being so busy. There's not really much to watch right now. Hey, really, listen, I've been watching hockey. Uh, the Flyers are do or die tonight. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to hop back real quick. I feel like players are opting out on the Patriots because of Bill Belichick, man. He must be a real dickhead and real – and, like, and serious. Like, a, a serious dickhead. Why do play, why do players not want to play for you? It, it's kind of like, what the fuck? You win you win all the time, but yet nobody wants to play for you. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see though. We'll see. Um, <sighs> damn that that's about it. I mean, you got anything else you want to talk about? Nah, man. I'm ready. I'm ready to play some football on Sundays. So. Yes, sir. I'm, yes, I'm ready sir. to go. Hopefully, uh, if, you, if you guys need help with anything, you know, let let me know. I can uh, try to. I'm from Glassboro, so I can maybe, you know, reach out to some people and see what I can find out or what's needed. Okay. Okay. So we'll, we'll reach out to Bill because he was supposed to call um, the Duffy Field people today. So we'll see what they said, and then if they say no, then we'll go for Owens or Clayton or yeah, just, we're looking for another just, one. Just try to find some. Just look for some fields that you know. That that won't be an issue with us playing. It's big enough for you know the fields that we use, kind of at uh, at Defford, and uh, see if we can um, you know try to find some fields, man. And then just yeah, keep I'm going in a couple of days. So I'll take a ride. I'll take a ride over to Glassboro and see. Uh, I know a couple of people that actually work for the township, so I'll see what they uh, what they say and what I need. Okay. All right, then let us know. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah, thank you for th- thank you for calling in, man. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate no it, man. I'll talk, I'll talk to you guys. All, All right, right, buddy. Thank see you. you. See you, man. Later. That is Johnny. Johnny Ebud. Price Electric slash Phil State <laughs> slash the Brace Competition slash the uh, what are they called the the, the semi pro team or are they again? Here's Johnny. I'm gonna put a picture on here. <laughs> the Tri State Owls. The Tri State Owls. The Tri State Owls. County Owls. And the shooter at the last game. No, I was playing. I was playing. I just, I say yes. No, guys, don't. Yeah. <laughs> Look what I just read. It said there's a new clause that prevents a player from holding out for an extended period of time. According to Saints Wire, this new clause states that any player who misses more than five practices without an excuse would lose service time in the NFL, and this wouldn't become a free agent until 2021 instead of at the end of the 2020 season. Oh, so that's just missing practices? If that were to occur, the player would be forced into signing a one-year restricted contract worth anywhere between four to five million, working some sort of working sort of like the franchise check. Okay. Players can also be fined up to forty thousand dollars per day for unexcused absences. Yeah, that is why they need to. But you know what? Sit back down on when they it's negotiate right the, uh, the bargaining agreement. They have to fucking look at stuff like this. You just can't sign it with, and give all the owners all the control. They have to. They got to be smarter than that. But it also said that Michael Thomas held out for five days last summer before signing a ninety-six point three million dollar contract, a record for an NFL wide receiver. Yeah. So he. Did because they valued him. They value him. Yes. They value Michael uh, Abbott. Uh, Michael Ab- Michael Thomas. They said he's injury prone. You're talking about Alvin Kamara? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he's and they want to trade him? Listen, I'll take him. I'll take him. I'll take him right now. It says that uh, Kamara is coming off an injury plague 2019 Whoa. season where he admitted he was not himself. Kamara is entering the final year of his rookie deer deal where he's set to make $2.1 million. That's it? And Sean, I wouldn't want to play either. And Sean, it says Sean Payton, when asked if Kamara's absence was injury-related, said, I don't really want to get into it at this time. Okay, he wants more money. Give the boy more money. Entering this training camp, Kamara said he was not overly focused on a new deal. I didn't come in thinking, I can't wait till I get a new contract. When that comes, it's going to be well-deserved. It's going to be perfect timing for it. It's just not something on the forefront of my day. That's what he said at the beginning of training camp. But then he's like, fuck this, now I want he's more like, money. Yeah, I want more money. Because he said that Christian McCaffrey just uh-huh. got more money. There's a bunch of other people that got more money. And Michael Thomas held out last season. Got, got, more, got money. more money. So I think he's hoping that it... Uh, I, play, I want my money, man. Yeah. I want my money. I think he's playing. Yeah. I think Where's he's my hoping, money? I think he's hoping that... Uh, if he holds out, 
you're gonna like give him his money. This is Alvin Kamara. It's me. Knock knock. So uh, you got uh, you got my money? Huh? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll pay you soon. Yeah. Well, um, here's a suggestion. Um, have the money by tomorrow, and there won't be any problems. Huh? Yeah. Twenty four hours. Why? What what happens in 24 hours? Eh? I don't know. Not psychic, man. I'm just saying it would probably be better for everybody if you had the money tomorrow. Yeah, all right. I'll see what I can do. Sweet. Sweet. Great. Uh, how's everything else going? Good. All right. All right. See you later. Don't forget. Nah, you're not going to forget. Stewie. Uh, hey. Hey there. So, uh, it's been 24 hours. Got my money? Oh, I, you know what? Just give me till next Friday. I'll have it for you. Oh, oh, that's funny. I could have sworn I said have it today. Yeah, I don't have it. Sorry. Oh, well, all right then. Mm, that's good, OJ. <laughs> ah! Yeah, that hurt. Ah! That hurt. What the hell? Yeah, it ah! feels so good, does it? Ah! No, huh? Ah! Oh, oh! Ah! <laughs> Yeah, that's what happens, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's what happens. Where's my money? You gonna give me my money? Where's my money, man? Where's the money? Yeah, you like that? That feels good? That feels good? Where's the money, man? Where's my money? You got till five o'clock, you hear me? You got till five o'clock! You freaking psychopath! Yeah, clean yourself up. What the hell happened to you? I, uh, fell down the stairs. No, well, you should be more careful. That's Sean Payton. Sean <laughs> Payton, what the hell happened to you? I, uh, fell down the stairs. Morning. Good day to you, sir. Hey, wait a minute, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Getting real tired of you ducking me, man. Yeah? Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. Oh, Getting really tired. Oh, huh? oh, 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 oh. Where's my money? Where's my money? Yeah, you got money to pay for fake mustaches, huh? Yeah, yeah. How, how much you pay for that fake mustache? Two ninety nine. Oh, oh, oh. Listen, you just got to give me more time. Don't make a fool out of me, man. Don't make a fool out of me. I want my money. I want my money, man. Stewie, listen, this is crazy. You got... Oh, my God. All right, let's go to the bank. So, Brian, we're even now, right? Ready to start a new life in England. I've got my money. Your wounds have healed up. <laughs> barbershoptalkradiostore.com you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter Barbershop Talk Radio uh, subscribe to the channel on YouTube YUN9 space S-O-I-N make sure you subscribe to the channel like the videos, give it a thumbs up um, you can follow us on Blog Talk Radio blogtalkradio.com backslash YUN9 S-O-I-N 1224 if you follow us on Blog Talk Radio it'll notify you every time we do a show so who, any, anybody who wants to call in when we're live, it's 516-387-1879. And again, don't forget to hit that cash app, Barbershop Talk Radio. On the cash app. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>